Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? What up? What up? What up? So, the new killer is out and I did a video with my first impressions and I've also played them a lot since then and my opinions have changed a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I knew they would. I even said it in the first video. I was like, yo, this is my first game, subject to change. I actually think this killer is pretty freaking strong. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing basically like the Ultra Rare series that I've been doing. I'm going to do one with this guy, although this is me showing more than just this Ultra Rare. This is me showing a lot. So the Ultra Rare that I'm using is Compound 33. This is an add-on where when you slam into a wall, any survivor within 16 meters is hindered for three seconds. And also if you slam into a pallet or a breakable wall, it breaks it. Which, like, this is cool and all, but this is, like, literally only even a part of the, the whole thing that I'm showing. Like, I, I guess you can count this as a part of the series, but really, the, the real star of the show here is honestly Compound 21. This add-on is nuts. I don't know if people really realize, but this is, like, in my opinion, one of his strongest add-ons, and it's green. Like, this this should have been the ultra rare, in my opinion. So, when you, when you slam into a wall, like, when you initiate a slam, which is when you, like, hit a wall... It reveals all survivors within 16 meters, which is big. That is a big, like that's a huge radius. 16 meters all around you in every direction. And they get revealed for six seconds. So even if you come out of the slam, they're still revealed for like another like three seconds. This add-on is insane. And it synergizes with this one really well because they get revealed and they also get hindered on top of like the ability to break pilots being nice. So it's just an insane combination. Also, 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 I've discovered a build for him that is also insane, which is another thing that I want to show off, which is this entire combination. Like, bar barbecue and chili really isn't important here. These other three perks are insane. So undying makes it so that if, if Ruin gets cleansed, Ruin just instantly respawns. And then you have Tinker as well to know when gens are low. This mixed with Blight's like massive amount of mobility means that if Tinker goes off, you can basically just rush your ass over to the generator, chase them off it, let it regress. If they try to get rid of Ruin, it just respawns. The only way that this build fails is if they get rid of Undying first and then find Ruin. And that, like, I played, like, for, like, six hours on stream, and it I don't think it happened a single time. I don't think I went without Ruin for a single game. Not a single time did I ever lose Ruin. Now that I said that, I'll probably lose it in this video. But regardless, I I'm still sticking with it. This build was nuts. I it, it I've been just rolling people with it. So let's showcase off some gameplay. Let's just hop in, and I'll show you in-game. All right, we got Dead Dog Saloon, which I think should be a pretty okay map for this. Okay, so the reason why I think that uh, Formula 21... Wait, form Formula? Why do I call it Formula? Compound. Compound 21. I Listen, it's some kind of a it's some kind of a chemistry-y sounding name, okay? Formula, Compound, whatever. The reason why I think it's so strong is, like, the range of it is just fucking massive, man. Oop. The range of it is just massive. And, like, the amount of auras that you can see sometimes is just... It, it's nuts. It gives you so much information. For just a green add-on, it's so much info. Good pallet throw, good pallet throw. I respect it, I dig it. Although this pallet is not that good. Oh, good fake, good fake. Well done, well done. These guys are gamers, dude. Gonna run into it real quick. I can instantly bounce on the wall here, then go after. Get a hit no matter what. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me warm up. Let me warm up. This is my first game of the night. Let me just get a little warm. Let me warm it up a little bit. Oh, shit, dead hard. Fuck. I actually would have hit her if it wasn't for that one thing. Okay, I'm going to go up and defend that gen. I should have had it down there. I, I, I kind of fucked up that chase. I could have easily had it down there. Damn, man, they got it. That sucks. That's a bummer. I'm gonna get this guy, but that's actually okay because that gen sucks anyway. Like trying to defend that gen, like if I had to run the whole way up there to get to that gen every single time, that would be a pain in the ass. So I don't mind that. That first chase was kind of bad and I lost. I should have had it down and then I should have also like been able to defend the gen in time, but I kind of messed it up, so. Duder! Duder, what's up, dude? You're just kind of chilling. I don't really know why you're just kind of chilling, but you're just kind of chilling. Did you just. Did he go to the window? Where'd this fucker go? Where'd he go? I'm gonna break out this wall real quick. I actually don't know where he went. He just vamooshed. He Houdini'd my ass. 
Oh, just barely short. Okay, something I'm coming to realize. In my first video, I talked about the fact that um, you like can't turn it all with your power. But I've come to realize that if you kind of like pre-turn your camera, you can you can do some pretty wide turns. Like if you're running up on someone and you kind of like pre-turn in their direction, you can kind of like do like a like like a more than 90 degree turn. It's pretty wild. <laughs> nice dead art, dude. Nice dead art. That gen's now gonna regress a fuck ton. Mm, do I want a hooker there? No, I want a hooker over here. I don't want her to. Go, I don't want them to go up to the gen to unhook. I want them to unhook and then have to run to the gen. I think that's much better. Boo doo boo boo. Also, just just to throw it out there, when you break a pallet with this add-on, the ultra rare, it's in 1.5 seconds. And I believe the default kick is like two seconds, I believe. So you actually shed a, a, a half a second. It's kind of like built-in brutal strength, but also in the form of an add-on. It's kind of what it is. So it's pretty nice. You can evolve, right? No? Oh my god, I messed that up. I thought he would go for the vault. I thought for sure he would go for the vault there. I didn't think he would just try to run out like that. That's such a psycho play. Good dead hard, good dead hard. He didn't even dead hard the first time I downed him, but let's not talk about it. He might he might have DS, so I'm gonna leave him alone. I gotta go defend this gen anyway. Let's go. We gotta go pinball some shit. Hey! Get the fuck. Get the fuck out of here, man. You get a vault? You get a dead art again? No, no, no. No, 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 no. They're also right here because this gen's being worked on. Compound 21, baby! Compound 21, baby! How did that land? The fuck? I was like right on top of him. Hello? Yo, okay. Question for people watching this. If you guys have played this killer, does his lunge feel kind of short? Yo, there's another guy. More information. Look at that. Even more information. Does his lunge feel kind of short to anybody? Like, maybe I'm insane, but his lunge, like, sometimes... Like, his, like, basic attack lunge sometimes feels, like, insanely short. Like, ridiculously short. And I don't know if I'm just, like, insane or what. Like, it feels like there's, like, hits that I should be getting that I'm just not. Also, this gen is almost regressed entirely, dude. Feels good, man. They haven't even broken one of my totems yet. I guess it doesn't help that I'm on Dead Dog and, like, the totems in the map are super well hidden regardless. Like, I don't think they're... I, even without Undying, I feel like my rune... Well, I say that as they're about to break it. Look at that. Instant respawn ruin, dude. Instantly respawn. Oh, what was that? Did you break a totem? Are you sure? Are you sure you broke a totem? Are you 100% sure? Scratch marks right here. Dooter. Guy had dead hard. Oh, I didn't think he would vault. He's a crackhead. He's insane. Why is that vault feel like instant, dude? The vault. Okay, that's another thing. Vault animations feel weird. This patch, too. I don't know. Maybe I'm just insane. I was hoping she would panic and throw it. Also, how did I not combine. How did I not collide with those boxes? How did that reach? I'm insane. That was insane. Okay, first off, how did I not collide with the boxes that I was, like, rubbing up against? And then also, how the fuck did that, like, get that far? That whole thing was really confusing. I'm just going to go ahead and say outplayed. Honestly, I'm just going to chalk it up to me being the better player. That's what I'm going to chalk that whole thing up to. I'm just the better player, 100%. That's what it is. There's clearly no other explanation. Jacob, my dude. Oh, there's a guy here, too. Let's go. Okay. I'm actually going to spread the damage out, I think. No, I was trying to... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is really awkwardly shaped. I was trying to, like, go around the side and swing around, but it's so awkwardly shaped that I just couldn't quite get it. But I could have made a play there. I definitely could have made a play there had I been like a little bit better with this power. This power, like what I'm coming to realize is this power is just kind of hard to use. It's a bit difficult and it takes some time to get used to. But I think once you get used to it, man, it has so much potential, dude. 
Like, you can do some insane plays with this. I forgot about that. Oops. Bill, bud, I don't think you're looking behind you, are you? I don't think you're looking behind you very much, are you there, buddy? That gen's still regressing. Dude, they're getting, like, no gen progress then, too. Like, that's why I love this build so much. Like, dude, Ruin and Undying mixed with this guy's mobility. Insane. I feel like I've said the word dude, like, a hundred times in the past minute, and I'm really sorry if that's the case. I just, I need you guys to know how excited I am about this add-on combination and this perk combination. It, it's just nuts. It's just so strong. Like, look at all the auras I can see. Like, what is this? It's a green add-on. It's a green. Way too far. Oh, man. If I turned that just right, I could have maybe had it. She seems pretty smart, though. She seems like she knows how to, like, really go against this. I'm going to fake like I'm going to go back and then I'm going to... I knew she would fake. Okay, auto aim. Okay, thank you. Thank you, auto aim. Thank you for that. I didn't want to hit her anyway, auto aim. No, really, it's fine. No, really, auto aim, it's fine. I didn't want to hit her anyway. It's cool. Okay, that's just I'm healing under... under hook. Is she dead? Oh, yeah, she's dead. I wonder why she wasn't struggling. Okay, I collided way too much there. But you know what? Still worked. I ain't even mad. <gasps> I don't have a dash. I gotta run over there. <laughs> hustle, play, hustle. Yo, ho, 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 ho. Dash into it. God damn, man. I couldn't get that. That's cool, too, because it kind of like instantly gives you your charge back, which is pretty nice. Oh, man. You can still 360, though. That's my biggest issue I'm having right now. And I'm wondering if that's something I'm going to learn to counterplay, too, or not. But I feel like my biggest issue right now with this killer is I feel like it's still really easy to 360 his power. Like, if you fake one way and then spin the other way, I feel helpless. Like, I feel straight up helpless if you do that. And that's still something I haven't really learned how to get around yet. That's like the one major thing that I'm trying to that's I'm trying to like figure out. As Blight, how do you deal with someone that does that, you know? I'm gonna see if anyone else is around. There's a guy up top, but I don't see anyone else around. Just this guy. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's hook you. Down here. Away from everything. Still no more gens though. No more gens. They got that one gen done and every other gen that has gotten close to got done with Tinker, I chase them away and then it regresses. This is what I'm talking about with this build. I feel like this killer is like really unique because, let me see if he's nearby. Also, uh, this compound 21, if you do reveal an aura with it, it like gives you a notification that an aura is revealed. It like gives you a scoring event. It says like compound 21 reveal or something. So you don't even have to look around for auras. You can just look for the scoring event, which is insane to me. Like, that probably needs to be changed. Um, but anyway, 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 what was I saying? This killer is unique in the way that he is able to get around the map really well. Hey, dude. I was really hoping he would vault. He's able to get around the map really well with his mobility, but he's also able to down people at the same time. So it makes this build of like Tinker, Undying, Ruin just so good. Because you can pressure them off the gens while also getting down. And it's just, it's just wild. Like what are you, like what do you even do, man? Like as a survivor, I just don't even know what to do. I guess you just have to like get lucky and have it, have like the survivor be really, really ridiculously good in a chase against them. Like I have ran into some survivors that are able to like lead me on some long chases, but Generally speaking, the more I get used to him, the more I'm, like, just able to dominate, you know? Like, even these guys are playing better than most people I've been running into lately. Like, the fact that they're avoiding hits a lot of the time is already already makes them better than, like, most of the people I've gone against. If I had turning add-ons, he was dead right there. That's one of those hits where if you have turning add-ons, you can get him. You can curve around that with turning add-ons. Which is another video that I may show you guys. Possibly. In the future. Did he fake that? That was a really good fake. That was a super good fake. He's sandbagging, dude. Oh, really? You're going to sandbag the poor guy? You're going to sandbag the poor guy? Your, your, your last wish is to sandbag this poor, this poor fucking Jake. This poor innocent Jake. Unfortunate. 
Unfortunado, dude. Unlucky. Up you go, friend. Up you go, friendo. Show me where he is, dude. It's also good for slug fighting, you know? Like, look at this. Look at that. Also, I don't know if you guys know this. And this is another reason why Compound 21 is insane. If someone's in a locker and you have Compound 21 and they're within range of, like, showing the aura, their aura won't show because obviously they're in a locker, but you'll get the scoring event. So say someone was in Shack Locker here. When I bounce into this wall, it would, sh it would show up on the left side. It would say Compound 21... Uh, uh, aura reveal or whatever, but it wouldn't have an aura. Like you would look around and there'd be no aura, so you would know that they're in a locker, which also makes it basically. I I I think like I was originally gonna make this video about the ultra rare add-on, but I think I'm instead just gonna make this video about Compound 21 because I think it should be the ultra round. Like like like, like Compound 33 is okay. It's like interesting. Compound 21 is nuts. Compound 21 is nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. GG's boys. GG's. Oof, we got Ormond. You know what? I mean, honestly, that's fine. That's like, I guess that's like the true test, right? My first Blight video, I'm pretty sure I got Ormond on, on that one as well. And I was like, oh, man, I'm still learning the killer. Why would you give me Ormond? Oh, no. But like, now that I'm like a little bit more comfortable with him, I feel like, you know, I'm curious to see how this goes. I'm curious. We got an object of obsession user as well. I'm going to pretend I didn't see this guy so I can get a hit on him. Gonna back up and slam. Come on and slam. If you wanna jam. Hit a wall. Yep, that's totally fine. Honestly, if you would have timed that a little bit a little bit worse, I would have got the pallet break. So that was really good timing on his part. I don't even know if he realized it or not, but that was really good timing. Okay. Well, this looks like typical Worming gameplay to me, man. Just breaking every single pallet. And having 10,000 of them. What was that? Ruin? And it's already back. It's already back, baby. It's already back. Ormond, I feel like, man. Like, as if Ormond wasn't already a strong map for every single, you know, against every single killer ever. I feel like it's especially strong because all the, the, the pallets are, like, so awkwardly shaped as far as defending. Like, they're so... Well, defending? Did I say defending? Sorry, I was thinking about defending generators. Not defending, as far as, like, getting hits with this guy. Like, it, you can't really, like, play any of the any of the pallets with this guy's power, because they're all, like, really round, you know? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. These guys are all just camping pallets, too. There's, like, nothing I can do. That's a bummer, dude. That's a huge bummer. And that's like the fourth gen. Uh, that's like the third gen that's got hit with Tinker, too. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm going to be able to do here, man. I, don't, I, I think there's nothing I can do. Ormond is just too strong. Like, I think no matter what you're running, dude, Ormond is just too strong. Once again, this map is just absolutely nuts. I've been like, I've been like literally rolling people all night with this build. Not, not even with these add-ons either. Like, even with just, like, no add-ons and just these perks, I've been, like, rolling people all night. But, man, once you get this map, everything just changes, you know? It all changes. I'm, I'm going to have to just let them pop that gen. We can, we can still pull it out. I'm not going to say this game is over or anything. Like, I think we can still do okay. But, my lord, it's crazy how much harder this map makes everything, dude. Like, no matter what killer you are, no matter what you're doing, this map is, like, insta-hard mode, you know? Anyone in here? Come on, beside. That compound 21, though, baby. That compound 21. I hate auto aim. I hate auto aim so much. Already twice this video, I've got screwed over by auto aim. That's depressing. I'm just going upstairs. That's a okay with me. We're gonna go defend that gen. I think letting that the unhook is okay for the sake of defending that generator. Ah, oh, there's two people here though. The other guy's probably gonna go back to it, I would imagine. Right? People don't normally like to leave gens like this. Like if they know I have ruin. Really? Never mind. She actually left. She is nowhere near. Because if she was around, uh, Compound 21 would have gave me, like, a scoring event. 
I would have seen on Compound 21 that she was around. Someone's here. Multiple people are here. I'm going to fake this way. Sup, dude? See, like, I feel like even though I'm not catching people, like, that's why I think this build is so strong. This build, especially with these add-ons. I feel like even though I'm not even, like, catching people that well, I feel like I'm still able to pressure the map so well just because of my build, uh, of my mobility mixed with Hex Ruin. That guy just DC'd. These guys are literally doing fine and that guy just DC'd. I don't get it. I don't get why that guy DC'd. These guys are doing A-OK. -okay. I think I'm going to let that one go. That one's at Shaq. I think I'm going to let that one go. What the fuck? I didn't even... Like, I had no commentary for that. I was just was blown away at what the fuck just happened. I, like, ran past him on accident while he was, like, stuck on a wall. And then he, like, threw the pallet on the wrong side. And then almost died. Well, that's awkward. I, like, couldn't even use the dash at all right there. That was fucking weird. That was really weird. What are you doing, dude? What are, you, what are you doing? What's your plan? See, man, like, I'm gonna be honest. With the with the start I had this game, the fact that they were just, like, camping pilots and throwing them and I wasn't getting any downs, I had such a bad early game. I was, like, positive that this game was over. Like, I even said it. I was like, man, this build can't do anything on Orm, and that sucks. Why am I not colliding with anything, dude? What is going on? But, yeah, man, I, I thought this game was over. Bro, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind with this auto aim. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, guys. Has it, is it worse, this patch? Okay, another question for, for you guys that I want answers for in comments. Is this happening to you guys, too? I feel like I go to swing on people. And, and okay, to explain to you what's happening, because you might not be able to tell what's happening based on, like, seeing it. But basically what happens is I go to swing on them, and it, like, it, like takes control of my aim. You know? Like, you know how, like, it sometimes, like, it takes control of your aim and, like, swings towards the person? It, like, does that, but it doesn't even swing towards the person, and it makes me miss. And it's been happening a lot. Like, I'm within range, but the game's just like, no, Tofu, we hate you, actually. Actually, we hate you, and we don't want you to get this hit. And it's just like, why, game? But why? Are you just gonna camp every pilot? Is that what we're doing? Are we just camping every pilot? Cause I'm down, dude. I'm down to break them. I'll break them all. At this point in the match, I'm down to break them all, dude. I'm not even mad. Sign me up. Is that live? Got some distance, dude. Oh, it's so hard to get an angle, dude. Oh, it's so hard to get an angle. Oh, they got ruined, but then it's back up again. Woo! Ruin number two cleansed, baby. We got two out of, like, what, five? <laughs> oh, God, the world just changed. You'll get there eventually, dude. Eventually, you'll get ruined. Yoink. Yoink. Also, vaults look different. Dude, so many, like... Man, I'm telling you, every patch, there's, like, so many just little things that are different. It's so odd. Like, vaults are, like... A, like, vaults look a little bit different. Vaults are weird now. It feels like they go from, like, not vaulting to just, like, vaulting super fast and, like, instantly. Even though, I think it's just like an animation thing. I don't think the vaults are actually any faster. It's just kind of like an awkward animation thing, you know? Well, okay. He's vaulting out. Duder. Duder. I mean, I'm just going to run circles around this. I'm going to chase you down, you know? Works for me. Works for me, man. Works for me. Um, go over here. Hey, it's another totem, dude. You want to cleanse that one too? Fuck it, man. We got even more totems, dude. We're not done yet. We have so many more totems. There's so many more still to go. That was an impossible thing to hit. Unfortunate. You have dead art, Jake. Do you? No. I'm just going to end this. I don't want to be on, I don't want to be on this map anymore, you know? You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes you're just like, you look at your life and you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to be here anymore. But then, but then you get stuck in like a little doorway that you can't go through and then you end up do staying there anyway. Like you end up staying there anyway. See, even that unhook looked, looked like that too. Even that unhooked. 
it, it kind of looked like she like wasn't unhooking them and then the animation was like super fast also the guy had unbreakable so turns out this game is an ending after all also she might have decisive strike because she was one of the people that was most recently hooked feels good man we're staying on orman for even longer let's go hey dude hey dude you trying to break my bones are you trying to break my bones sir Right, right, right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me just, you know, she's like fully recovered anyway, so I might as well just pick her up. And if she has DS, she can DS me, you know what I mean? You know? If you have it, you have it. Just get it out of your system. Go on. Go on, get it out of your system. Just kidding. She doesn't have it. Or she just doesn't have it anymore. Was that 60 seconds? Could have been. Definitely, definitely could have been. Oh, man. I think I have to. I already know that guy's unbreakable. So I'm here to use it. And we got that compound 21 value, baby. You know? Compound 21 value, baby! I think you might get that on hook. Hustle, Blight, hustle. That's, like, interesting. It's, like, built-in brutal strength. Very odd. It's a very odd way to have built-in brutal strength, but it's definitely there. He did have the, this whole time? He had it this whole time? But wh why, why did he not dead hard the other like five times? What? Am I, am I getting galaxy brain right now? Why did this guy not dead hard every other time that I downed him? What? Dude, how? I, I just, I don't even know what to say when people do this kind of stuff. I don't even know what to say. This man, like, didn't dead hard any of the other times. I even tried to bait it that one time. I was, like, following him for, like, a whole three seconds trying to bait it. And he, like, wouldn't do it. And then he had it in the end. Did I just, like, miss it? Did he do it and I just didn't see it? Maybe. I am blind sometimes. But here we go, dude. Even with this awful game. Even with this game where I played completely terrible in the early game. Literally, like, didn't catch anybody. Just spent the whole early game kicking pallets and not applying any pressure. I still managed to come through in 4K on Norman, you know? I mean, yeah, someone DC'd, but like, man, I'm telling you, dude, I think this build with these add-ons is just, it's like, I feel like it's almost hard to lose with this. Like, it feels like it's hard to lose. These guys even like split up and did gens. Like they got three different gens to like tinkerer level early on. So they were like split up and doing gens. Like this was like one of those really, really hard games to win. And uh, yeah. We still want it. Also, I just realized something. What is this? Link text? I'm going to give this one a three star. Link text. Oh, my God. Okay, this opens up a page for customer support. What is the link text? Can I, can I leave text? Can I leave text? He said, not a GG's, bro. Someone DC. Oh, in that case, not GG. Get fucked. Okay. I don't know. Guys, is this toxic? Is this toxic? I, I, guys, I gotta be honest with you. YouTube, I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you guys, YouTube. There's there's something that makes me mad about saying GG to somebody. Like, being courteous and kind and just being like, hey, man, GG's, right? Like, that's such a... That's just like... It's a like good sportsmanship. You know what I mean? Like, why would you not just say GG? There's something weird about that. Like, there's something that pisses me off about saying that and then having them get snappy back at you. You'd be like, nah, dude, nah, not GG's. And it's like, dude, just like, say GG, you know? Just say GG. Like, it's just, we're just being courteous. Like, yeah, someone DC'd and I get it, it sucks. You know what I mean? If you, if, 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 like, you can be like, yeah, GG, it was unfortunate someone DC'd. I'd have been like, yeah, you're right. It's very unfortunate. You guys might've won had you not DC'd, you know, bummer. Like, I'll, I'll sympathize. But don't be like, nah, dude, not a GG's. That game sucked, bro. Like, come on, man. Just say GG and let's... It's like slapping hands after the baseball game. You know what I mean? Just slap hands and move on. So, honestly, these days, whenever people do this shit, I just tell them to get fucked. I don't know if that makes me toxic or not, but I'm. I, th that's what I do. I, I don't know. I, I've just been doing it. I, and, until I do that, I'm nothing but wholesome until I see that. As soon as I see that, I just get so annoyed. And I just have to tell them to get fucked. But anyway, uh, I guess get fucked. I guess get fucked.
All right, guys, that's it for the build. I don't even have any more of the ultra rare anymore. I don't even know, like, uh, FYI, I think this video, like, is just showcasing the whole build in general. And I'll, I'll just go ahead and say that uh, I think this ultra rare add-on, the one I was using, it's not even here anymore. It's, like, it's like gone. This ultra rare add-on, I, I think this is going to end up getting changed. Because to me... Compound third or compound 21 is literally just a better version. Like it feels like this should be the ultra rare. This feels like as a matter of fact, if you guys have been following my ultra rare series, you you'll notice that like I've been I've been coming up with this like weird like concept that they've been making one ultra rare a really good tracking ultra rare for every single killer. Like for instance, Pyramid had Pyramid has, has this one that shows auras. Um Deathslinger has this one that shows auras. Uh Oni has this one that shows auras. Demogorgon has this one that shows auras like It seems like every single killer they've been releasing they they give an ultra rare that that re that like reveals auras Ghost face has security camera with auras plague is black incense with auras. Okay, that's I, I, I something a broken record But you know what I mean? It always feels like they have one ultra rare that shows auras So like it, it's it always feels to me like they made a mistake like this was supposed to be the ultra rare and it's not or something because this is like ultra rare worthy. It's really strong. And it seems to fit into like the formula of their ultra rares. And I don't know why it's not. So I'm going to make a prediction. I think Blight's add-ons are going to get changed in the future. And when they do, when they inevitably do, I'm going to do a new video on the add-on from this one. I'm not going to count this as the add-on for Compound 33. I think this is going to get changed in the future, maybe. And then I'll do a video on it if and when it gets changed. Um... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This build's insane. This build is absolutely nuts. Feel free to try it out for yourself and make all survivors miserable. Ruin on dying combo is one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in this game. It's it's nuts. It's very, very strong. If you guys like this video, remember to leave it a like. Um, and I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm I'm just I'm gonna keep going in circles. Le leave this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. Sub to the channel as well because I've been uploading literally daily. Quite literally daily. And uh, also stop by my Twitch stream sometimes from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern time. I'm there every night except for Saturday. So feel free to stop by and say hello. Would mean a lot if you did. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. I'm getting out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. I'm out of here. See ya. Uh, see ya later. See ya.